Let's get started. Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. Ooh, we can do this. Which brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? Cognition. Obstruction makes no sense. Hallucination isn't a brain function? Hallucinating is not... I wouldn't call that a brain function. I don't know what exaltation means. Cognition. Ooh, we can do this. We can do this. The favorite, my favorite part of Morgana as a character is literally just when he says, ooh, we can do this. It's like his only redeeming quality. And that he gets good healing moves. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Both. The four color theorem says you can do this with anything. Ooh, we can do this. I'm a genius. I'm built different, canonically. Why weren't my real life exams this easy when I was in school? Okay, class. Does Let's everyone have started. a test? Then you may begin. Name the book that defined malfactor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Oh, not Juliet. Not Digital Devil Story. That's a reference to an SMT game. I'm 99% positive. Compendium of Laws or The Devil's Dictionary? I'm going to be honest with you. I thought it was The Devil's Dictionary, a compendium of laws. It's The Devil's Dictionary, right, chat? I think? Digital Devil Story is the book that kickstarted the Megama Tensei series. Ah, okay, and it is The Devil's Dictionary. Nice. Ooh. What character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive woman, typically with ulterior motives? That is a femme fatale. Ooh, we can do this. A school-wide assembly at this time of year? Really? Think we can bring our flashcards in? Kamashita is just one of the many things wrong with this school. I've got to hurry home and study. That Kamashita is still causing us trouble even when he's gone. since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital, so we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Whoa. Isn't he oh, hot? Isn't he hot? <clears throat> it's nice to meet you all. Whoa, his voice is sexy. My name is... Huh? My name is Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. <laughs> no need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. You can even call me Doc, if that would help you feel more comfortable. Any assistance you need, I'll be... Oh. I guess I'm not really any good for helping with money problems. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Maruki. I like how Maruki didn't even see the principal getting closer. He could feel the gravitational weight of the principal's gut, and that pushed him away. Yo, you ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? Do you really think he'll do us any good? You know, it doesn't matter if he does this any good or not. All that really matters is this is a banging soundtrack. It's so... just vibey. Ryuji. Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. 
It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Uh, I think it was especially tough for the woman who was being, you know, basically sexually assaulted. More so, but sure, I mean, I guess I transferred here, so it was worse for me. Not really. You're quite the tough youngster. Just don't overdo it, okay? Do not ever call me youngster again. So, what do you want with us? Ah, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. I'm in, where do I sign? All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? I am Ferdinand Von Eyre. Tell me more of these snacks of which you speak. Like what kind of snacks? We talking like, like little bags of like Lay's chips, maybe pretzels? Or are we talking more like candy, like a, like a crunch bar? I'm in either way, but I just want to know candy corn someone in chat just said, I'm out. Hey, don't fall for that. You can't fall for free snacks. If you get free snacks, then you haven't fallen for anything. You've obtained free food. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interests. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams or not getting nervous on dates. Not getting nervous on dates? I'm in. How's that sound? Uh. Just so that we're clear, this isn't like a trade-in for the snacks, right? You're gonna give me the mental acuity like Yuxi from Pokemon nonsense and also the free snacks? Mental training. If I make good use of this, it may aid in our Phantom Thief activities too. There's also snacks. I'm in! All right, all right, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? I like food. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. I made a deal with Miruki. There's no way this could possibly backfire on me in any way, shape, or form. It's literally impossible. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Coffee Daddy. Give me a name. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Counselor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. He's done it. The counselor begins. All right. So hold up, dude. 
Didn't this lady only have a few minutes or something? Seems like she's getting a daily play-by-play. -play. Oh, Sai? Yeah, they gave her, like, five Namekian minutes. So, I mean, like, whew, man. We're, like, what, 7% in to, like, the first minute of the Namekian minutes? Like, we, we have plenty of time. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well, then. His music is just so groovy. Okay, quiet down. All right, settle down. We should be getting close to getting Kawakami's. What you call it, right? Maybe that doesn't happen until you're in Madarame's due date. I don't recall. I have an addendum to the earlier assembly regarding the counseling you've all been offered. The counselor will be available to you after starting after school today in the nurse's office. Dr. Maruki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. The school's decided visits to Dr. Maruki will be mandatory for these individuals. Yo, you guys gonna go for it? What, the counseling? Kinda sounds like we're being forced to. I told Maruki I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm really that into the idea, you know? Not much choice, man. Yeah, probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think I'm gonna try going today. Mm. Counseling, huh? Lady On's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? I have to get a counselor persona first. Yes. Oh, okay. I remembered that, like, Maruki has a conversation with... I think all of the main cast, except probably not a catchy. But, uh, I didn't realize that they did one this soon. <sighs> Welcome. Oh, this isn't all voiced. My bad. Welcome. Are you here for a counseling session? A catchy would break his mind? A catchy would probably, like, break his hand as soon as Maruki asked a question he didn't want to answer. Yeah, is now a bad time? It's his job. How is it going to be a bad time? This is what he's being paid for. Not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well, shall we begin? Shall we get started? Ah, oh, but first, just relax, all right? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although I really only have one thing on my mind right now anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. Ha <laughs> ha! No, it's, it's alright. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to this super long story. I absolutely am. Do you hear this funky music? I'm prepared for anything. Take all the time you need. I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. <sighs> yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him, for Shiho. Mm-hmm. And? <sighs> At first, I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to put herself through. But... But... <laughs> Later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it'd just give him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know, you are quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you've got the wrong... Nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of that, I don't think I'd be so mature either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Hmm, right now? Think. Huh. I'm just hoping Shiho will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a care in the world about Kamishita. Yeah. Now there is a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Quite. I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems I lost track of the time. 
we should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that that's all off my chest. Be careful, okay? Good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay. I'm Will do. See you around. Well, I went in for counseling. Yeah, I just read through all of it. You're going soon too, right, Akira? How'd it go? Huh, well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Maruki's easier to talk to than you'd think. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Didn't you have a counseling appointment? That's in the nurse's office in the practice building, right? I'll just pass time in the area until you're done. Oh, it's gonna force me? Oh, because we have to see Kasumi here. How are you? Ah, hello. Student called Yoshizawa. Are you here for a session as well? You do, huh? Yes. Yes, that's right. Dr. Maruki is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while before he ever came to Shujin. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over selling me too hard, though, Yoshizawa-san. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. All right, then. What say we get started? What say you we get this over with? Let's go. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We made a deal. Where are my snacks? <laughs> well, I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. I see. I see. Thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp of the situation you're in, Kurusukun. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. Yeah, so much for my privacy. I'm glad you've got a sense of humor about it, but yes, it's not exactly kind to you. I'm sorry. So... Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something that I respect women, right? It seems like you're largely, you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note that's really truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality, some conception of themselves they're striving for? For example. Like wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Isn't this Oast that's playing right now, chat? Isn't it called the ideal and the real? Very fitting. Or that's the name of one of the later palace themes. I can't remember. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much. That kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? Kinda creeping me out here. It sounds right, because I want the <laughs> points with you. Yeah, let's go. Not even any deflecting self-deprecation. You really are strong, Krusukun. You have no idea the depths of my ability for self-deprecating humor. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry, this went on longer than I expected. Somehow, the conversation just took a life of its own, I guess. Uh, say. Hey, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. It's not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts, what they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So, I'll need some more details there, buddy. Uh, sorry. Uh, I guess my point is I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you'd have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, any time's good for me. I can work around your schedule. And, uh, I've got a lot of snacks! You can have them, they're yours! Why me? Well, to be honest, sometimes I hit a wall in my research, and you're the protagonist of the game, so... I've been working on it alone, but some second opinions from a perspective like yours could really push it forward. Oh, and don't worry, I promise I'll repay you for it. Well... Let's see... I know, maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. Didn't you already agree to teach me this mental acuity stuff when I said I'd come to your counseling in the first place? Feels like you're doubling up unfairly here. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's our second deal. Rank up! When Joker is inflicted with an ailment, he may recover immediately. Oh, that's pretty pog, as the kids say. 
I know. All right, would it be okay if we traded contact information? I'll contact you when I've got time or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now. Now I'd better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training and presence. Let's see, first off. Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Oh yeah, he increases your SP, which is also super pog. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Depends on the snack, brother. Well, see you. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around at school. 